Journey with me this morning, beautiful people of God. Our scripture this morning is 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 22 through 25. Jews ask for signs, and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, which is a scandal to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is God's power and God's wisdom. This is because the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Amen. The point of this scripture is not to scapegoat a group of people, but to symbolically show how the message of the cross goes against any rational understanding of power and authority. As we edge closer to the cross in this Lenten season, we are reminded that a criminal's death on the cross is the ultimate humiliation for someone who had been lifted up as the Son of God and the one who would save humanity. The death on the cross makes no sense for those who proclaim that following the rules would lead to salvation and safety. A rule breaker is so antithetical to our understanding of what it means to be a good person that we often gloss over how many rules Jesus broke in his ministry. He talked to women, he touched the unclean, he crossed racial boundaries, he broke economic rules, and generally caused a lot of disruptions wherever he went. Christ is God's power and God's wisdom. What does it mean for you if God's guidance is pushing you to upend the status quo and live your life in a way that makes a difference for Christ? Let us pray. Gracious God, our teacher, embolden me to question how we've always done things. Amen. Once again, I'm going to ask you on this journey to subscribe to this channel. Please pass this devotion to five people and encourage them to subscribe as well. God bless you and you have a great day.